how Houthi interventions in Red Sea could disrupt internet across the world. Four cables in the Red Sea, which account for 17% of the world's internet traffic, have been cut. The Houthis have previously denied any intention of targeting sea cables. Yemen's United Nations recognized government in Aden said the Houthis had threatened to damage the crucial cables that link Asia and Europe. Houthi attacks in the Red Sea may have an unthinkable new victim internet users. According to several reports, undersea data cables in the Red Sea have been damaged without specifying the possible causes. According to the Wall Street Journal, most of the internet traffic between Europe and East Asia goes through cables laid at the southern end of the Red Sea, near the areas controlled by Houthis. According to the Wall Street Journal, traffic from passing ships has long been considered a risk to the cables, but now, Houthi attacks have made the area in more perilous. On Monday, cables belonging to four major telecom networks were cut. CNN reported, the Europe-India Gateway, which stretches 15,000 kilometers long between Europe, West Asia and India, has been impacted. The 25,000-kilometer-long Asia-Africa-Europe cable system, which hooks up Southeast Asia to Europe via Egypt, was also damaged. The outlet quoted Hong Kong telecoms firm HGAC Global Communications as saying West. Asian communication networks have witnessed significant disruptions recently. The company said 25% of traffic between Asia and Europe, including West Asia, has been impacted so far. The company said it is rerouting traffic to minimize disruption and is supporting extending assistance to affected businesses. It did not say who was or could be responsible for the outage. According to Techspot.com, the cables account for approximately 17% of the world's internet traffic. According to the website, repair work could take a minimum of eight weeks or more. Those assigned the job could also face attack by the Houthis. This isn't the first time that such an outage has occurred. Too early to tell if sabotage. According to the Wall Street Journal, three cables suddenly stopped providing service to some markets last month. While no region was left online, services in India, Pakistan, and parts of East Africa were affected. The newspaper quoted research firm Kentix director Doug Matery as saying, Bloomberg quoted South African company Seacom Limited as saying the problem was in an area where the Houthis were targeting ships with missiles and drones. It's too early to tell if it's sabotage. Seacom Chief Digital Officer Pranesh Padayachi said, Only once we lift the cable will we be able to see if someone has cut it. According to TechSpot.com, in December, a Houthi-linked channel put out a map of the cables on the Red Seabed. There are maps of international cables connecting all regions of the world through the sea. It seems that Yemen is in a strategic location as internet lines that connect entire continents. Not only countries pass near it, the message read. It said the government is keen to keep all submarine telecom cable well away from any possible risks. CNN quoted Israeli news outlet Globes as saying it is possible that the Houthis were behind the damage to the cables. But Yemeni Houthis leader Abdel Malek al Houthi has contested any such claim. We have no intention of targeting sea cables providing internet to countries in the region, he said. To be fair, the overwhelming majority of damage to undersea cables is due to fishing equipment or anchors, according to Bloomberg. Also, according to BBC, the fibers that were cut lie well on the seabed. No easy feat for divers to reach. I assess it's a bluff, unless it's an attack on a terminal. Former Royal Navy submarine, Commander Rear Admiral John Gower expressed, it would need an ally with the capability, someone with a submersible, plus the ability to locate the cables under sea. There is nothing I've seen in the Iranian Orbat order of battle that could touch these cables, certainly not their submarines. Former Royal Navy Commander Tom Sharp added, diving is an option, but it's deep and busy so I think it would be pushing it, he says. I think this is a bluff.
but these incidents shine a spotlight on the possible risks to undersea cables in the Red Sea, with probable involvement of Halthus.